girls come a long way since the good old days of yellow and blue. The darts have changed colour and the blasters have too. I wasn't even trying to rhyme. This is going to be a good day. We've had bug attack blasters covered in slimy blue bug juice with incredibly tactile handles and the high performance Excel line which frankly outperforms all of Hasbro's offering. And the X-Shot Ninja Ranger Blast. From bugs to ninjas, you crazy X-Shot. Whatever next. Yes, Andrew! Yes, Mr. T-Rex. Someone's stolen my dinosaur eggs! Wait, you have dinosaur eggs? Um, yes. But how do you have eggs, Mr. T-Rex? Because life finds a way. Fair enough, but who's taken them? Maybe it was my big bad uncle. Well, that's not as surprising as the eggs, but you have an uncle too. Perpetuated by popular culture, this hungry Tyrannosaur has no problem seeing its stationary snack. Dang it! Shut the door! Because that always works in dinosaur films! <laughs> Try and get them back with this generic egg shot blaster. Where's it gone? It's all right. I got her. <laughs> Clever girl. Ah! <laughs> oh! Sorry, Mr. T-Rex, I'll try again with the rapid fire bug blaster! How have you got facial hair now? Irrelevant, Mr. T-Rex. I'm going to take a gas jeep and go and find your children. But we haven't got a gas jeep! What's going on this week in Jurassic Outdoor Place of Recreation because copyright's a thing? Da -da, da -da. Shot blast that was especially for attacking dinos. Ah! I be the fairy god pirate Brontosaurus mother. The what now? And I be granting your wish. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Good heavens! It's an X shot dino attack blaster. Two of them. What are the chances? Wait. What are these? My dinosaur eggs! I thought you said your big bad uncle had them. Well, he might have done. You can't just accuse an innocent dinosaur of doing something they didn't do. Maybe he put them there. Are you sure you're not giving him too much credit? Well, if velociraptors can open doors, it's not entirely beyond the realms of imagination to assume that they can place objects in well-designed packaging to be sold as accessories with retailable products. Well, it didn't say anything about that in that documentary I watched, but... Fair enough. Anyway, this looks perfect for thwarting a dino attack. Specially designed for fighting T-Rexes. This is so dino attacky that the word attack's attacking. But this guy doesn't care because he's got a dino attack blaster. By the looks of things, it's called a dino striker. Attention. Danger. Oh, I'm feeling the danger. So dangerous it's even got claw marks on it. Authentic battle damage. Even the box has got claw marks in it. This is awesome. It's got ammo storage. Well, takes all that back and... Also available the claw hunter, which I guess is that. Use that to hunt claws with. 
Just claws or that kind of like killing elephants for ivory? Okay, so you meant to shoot the eggs? That's what I use them for! Well, that's not very maternal. I'm a boy! Then how do you have eggs? Science! Well, if this is anything like the other egg shot blasters, these should just pull off the packaging. Egg shot, you cheeky devils. Got different faces on them, look. That looks kind of T Rexy, and that looks kind of Velociraptory, I guess. Wish there was a Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Get those other eggs out. This dinosaur does not look happy I'm taking his eggs. In my eggs! Like so. There you go. One egg. Happy? Yes! I guess because the dinosaurs are breaking out, then you want to kill them before they break out. Kind of like aliens. There you go. And that should just pull off the packaging as well. Eh. Eh. Or at least it would do. Might have to use two hands. These are actually designed to twist off. Twist it. I actually quite like the look of this. It's blast overview time. Starting from the front of the blaster. It's got a kind of a muzzle thing there. Is that like a silencer or a flash suppressor? Which is not compatible with any attachments whatsoever. It just looks kind of funky. It's slightly longer than the Excel blaster. This section of the blaster kind of reminds me. A little bit of the spectre. Actually, that is a very spectry shape. I can see this space being very useful for unjamming your blaster. Also, I love the Maverick. One problem it did have is that sometimes darts could get caught in this bit of dead space here. But here, this isn't going to be an issue. We have a sling attachment point. What sling attachment point? None of the others have sling attachment points. The only other blaster I can think of with a sling attachment point underneath is the hammer shot. So yeah, that's two good design choices so far. On top of the blaster, we have this iron sight thing and dart storage. Make any blaster better with dart storage. Almost. There's lovely scratchy detailing on the side of the blaster, along with other little dents, which is also replicated on the other side of the blaster. Only one side of the blaster is printed, but both sides of the blaster have this attention danger sticker on it. E-H-S-F. What does that stand for? Dinosaur Hunter... Something... Fire? Whatever it means, this blaster the property of DHSF! There's actually lots of these little detailing -y bits, which look kind of steampunky a little bit. Positive and negative terminals, maybe it's meant to look like some kind of a battery. Oh, I get it, maybe it's made to look like a stun gun. No safety switch there, has no function other than looking cool. The handle's been made to look like it's leather wrap, got this kind of faux woody effect up here, and then like a wrappy effect. Here, the different tone of plastic at the bottom, and a second sling attachment point! Take your pick! The rotating barrel and the priming handle of the blaster are both in this kind of translucent blue, which I guess would fit with the stun gun idea. And this blaster comes with 16 Darts. Double darts plus some more. So Hasbro starts supplying their blasters with double darts. An X shot be like, hold my dinosaur omelette. Normally say hold my root beer, but that's dinosaurs and yeah. six in the barrel, six in storage, and four in your pocket. Load the blaster, you simply place a dart in, rotate the barrel, and repeat. Doesn't feel that smooth to rotate, but hey. You can load the blaster from this side or this side, which is nice. Prime the blaster, go like this. To fire the blaster, go like this. That was a pretty good range. You can see Mr. Jot in the conservatory from here. Six. Shake test. Okay, those darts are pretty secure. Right, let's take this out for a range test. Oh. Remember that cup of water I had just now? Well, it's everywhere. Oh, good heavens above. Can people submerge AK-47s and then try firing them? Maybe I should do a video like that. Let's get some towels as well. Twelve shots flat. Okay. Definitely performing better than average elite ranges. Reload. That was... Okay, so that was an anomaly. Really impressed by that. It's X shot, so I'm not surprised. Okay, we had one anomaly there, which kind of spiraled downwards, and that's around about 30 feet. The rest of these, though, all really, really comfortably up into the high 40s, and some of those were bouncing off the conservatory. PG X shot. The six angled shots. <laughs> My goodness, there's no leaves on the tree, but I still managed to hit it. Right, let's try again. Good heavens. That hit the roof. Okay, that one went right over the house. And that one's in my neighbor's gutter. Okay, so that one that went over the house must have got caught by the wind or something. There are a couple of others that really, really performed well on the angled shots. I have to say, I am super, super impressed with this. Come to expect a lot from X-Shot Blast in terms of stock performance. And I am not disappointed by this blaster. If you want a blaster that you're not gonna have to modify to get a bit of extra pep from, this is perfect. If it was rubbish, I would tell you, but it's not. Quick note about operating this blaster. Once it's primed, it can't rotate mechanism. And it feels like if I were to force it, it might break. When loading the blaster, rotate it until the loaded dart is one space to the right of center, then prime, 
then fire. Let's test out the dinosaur eggs! Dinosaur egg! Whoop, that was terrible. Don't! It's not even the right blaster for goodness sake. Dinosaur egg! Dinosaur egg! Dinosaur egg! <laughs> oh my goodness. Other dinosaur egg! One thing to note about aiming this blaster, because it's a little bit longer than normal I guess, aiming down the iron sight is a little bit helpful. I did find myself once or twice aiming a little bit too high. You need to actually look down the iron sight. And I've just noticed that when you haven't got any ammo in the ammo holders, you've actually got a helpful little notch there. PG X shot. Nerf bottle. X shot can. Root beer. Scary bush guy. Avocado. Dinosaur egg again! Dinosaur egg again! Dinosaur egg again! There we go, it's split! Okay, so the dinosaur eggs are a bit harder to split apart than some of the other targets we've got up here, but I guess that'll just teach you to be a bit more accurate! Titan guy! Got right, aside for a target test! By the way, we are going to go and deal with the big bad uncle in just a second, once we've unboxed the other blaster. Six shots, ten feet. By the way, we're not using the darts this blaster came with for this because I don't know where they are anymore. Oh, the front garden and the neighbour's gutter. And once more at 30 feet. So just a blast to blink around the house with, I really like this, I love the way it looks, I love the scratch effects, I love the ammo storage, two sling attachment points, what more could you need in terms of tactical goodness from a pistol? The only way you could possibly improve this is by having like an end strike compatible attachment rail, but that's really a very small thing, and as a standalone blast that you can just buy and have fun with, this is great. In terms of being a nerf warring blaster, it's fantastic! The performance stock is way better than anything Hasbro offers, easily on a par with the Excel range which we've become accustomed to being really really good. In terms of build quality, this feels like it's made of slightly better quality plastic, it feels like a little bit thicker and a little bit less flimsy than the x -Shot Excel blaster does. And I don't mean that in a nasty way towards the x -Shot Excel line, I love it. I absolutely love it. Given the choice between this and any one of Hasbro's other pistols, I would take this. Apart from possibly a Hammer Prime blaster, because I do really like them too. The most durable revolver style blasters I know of in any dart firing line is easily the Maverick. Any flavour of Maverick. I've run literally hundreds of hours of Nerf Wars and in my experience, these break a lot less than these strong arms or disruptors do. So what I'd be interested to see is whether or not Dino Striker, that's his name, I forgot that, I had to look at the box, is whether or not the Dino Striker is as long lasting as the Maverick. That's definitely a plus for the Dino Striker. Almost forgot my new video segment, Spin It Like Drag! Yeah! But we all know really nobody spins it like track. So in terms of a practical nerf warring blaster, I love this. Stock performance is superb. It's a little bit longer than the Excel style blasters. I guess it's X-Shot Zombie Strike, only it's Dino Strike. It's got that kind of thrown together. What's that word for when you do something on the spur of the moment? Oh my goodness. Improvised! It's got that thrown together, improvised kind of feel to it. And I like that. Dinosaur X thing's cute too. Mr. T-Rex is happy. Thank you, X-Shot! Let's get on with unboxing the other blaster now. Goodness, there's an even bigger T-Rex on here. This is a bit deceptive. It looks like it's saying six dinosaur eggs, where it's not six dinosaur eggs, it's six halves of dinosaur eggs. X shot, that makes three eggs. Six halves is three. That's math. Come on, X shot. This is called the Claw Hunter. Why is it called the Claw Hunter? Hunt claws with it. Again, that's what you do to the eggs. Child killers! More ammo storage on the top, which seems to be a little bit of a theme here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two, which means this blaster should come with 12 darts. What's this wheel for? What's this wheel even for? What is that? Is it like a fidget spinner for a blaster? But while you're waiting, hunting the dinosaurs, you crazy egg shot. This guy looks full on Rambo. This is the main guy, and this is the cheeky sidekick. What is this for? It just spins? What's this? So if you get close enough to the dinosaur, you just kind of rub that up and down their back to relax them before you shoot them or something. Kind of a massage wheel. More authentic battle damage! And the scratch marks too. Did all that steampunky stuff going on. 24 darts, double the number you need, so that's on a par with Hasbro, just to twisty these. They've always been like this, and I've just been ripping them off. Is that is that what this is? It's way easier to do this. Okay, that's interesting. Doesn't even roll properly! What's the point of this wheel? That feel nice, Mr. T-Rex. Very relaxing! Uh... 
That's good. I take it all back, Exot. This is really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel all tingly. Back onto the review, I think. At the front of the blast. <laughs> Oh my heck. This is a double barrel blaster. It's front loading, so you simply put one dart in there, one dart in there. Some kind of a faux wood effect him with dino attack on it. Massage wheel. Who came up with the idea of putting that in a blaster? So when your kids aren't using the blaster, you can just give yourself a back scratch. More funky, interesting detailing along the blaster, such as this. Trench and danger, DHSF. What is DHSF? Again, we've got like a power symbol indicating that, yeah, this is some kind of battery. So I guess maybe that's the theme, is that you're not shooting and killing the dinosaurs. You're tasing them. That's much more humane. Opposing cruelty to animals, x -Shot. I respect that. Again, it looks like you could have a sling attachment point up here, and maybe is that a sling attachment? No, that's not a sling attachment point, there. Anyway, we're on the top. Another iron sight at the front, and another iron sight at the back, and interestingly enough, again, when you haven't got darts in these, you can use these two aim too. On the other side of the blaster, we've got no printed X shot, but there's so much other detailing, it really doesn't matter. The handle on the claw hunter, just like the dino striker. Also got this faux wrap stuff going on. I'm actually surprised that the dino strike has more sling attachment points on it than this guy does. But if this blaster were attached to a sling, then you couldn't do this with it. So it all makes sense. Under normal circumstances, something falling down would stress me out. But... To operate this blaster, you insert darts into the front. There's nothing to open, nothing to rotate. Simply a front-loading blaster. Prime. And fire. This is quite big and quite nice to pull back. Two shots. One pull of the trigger, one shot. Oh, we've got one, two darts. Shake test. Nope, those darts aren't coming out either. Let's take it outside. Six shots flat. Really beefy firing sound. One, two. This one was not quite as good as the other blaster, only getting to just before 50 feet. Um, a couple of those did get Feet, but yeah, just before 50 feet. Still better than elite performances, in my opinion. Angled shots. I'm gonna have to pay to clean out my neighbor's gun. That one made it over the house. That one made it over the house. And that one made it over the house too. We're going to actually go to the front of the house and see if we can recover them. There we go, there's one. There's another. Four shots, ten feet. Four shots, twenty feet. Quite a bit more sort of wind shear going on there, I think. It is a bit breezy. Four shots, 30 feet. <laughs> roll test passed. It doesn't roll very well on smooth surfaces, but it does roll well on the rough ground outside. So in terms of practical things with this blaster, it's actually quite easy to take two of these and then to load them both at once in the front there, which is nice. That was from the hip. So my opinions on the, what's this called again? Floor Hunt's performance is slightly below that of the Dino Strike with most elite blasters. So firing nerf branded darts as well, this blaster is still outperforming elite blasters stock, which is awesome. Feels nice and chunky to fire. This one sounds chunkier than this one for some reason, even though it doesn't fire further, which is, yeah, that's interesting. Can't imagine it's got a bigger plunger tube in it. Maybe it's got a bigger plunger tube, but some of that energy is used up in dealing with the intelligent AR, who knows. I haven't got a clue what this was designed for, but I love what it can do. This. <laughs> If you're a stressed out parent and you're thinking about buying your child a Nerf Blaster for Christmas, buy this and when they're not using it, when they've gone to sleep or whatever, 
you've got yourself a massage wheel. I'm not even joking. It's brilliant. Because there's such a lot of plastic above the barrel, I actually find these sights quite useful in terms of aiming my blaster. That's not normally the case with Nerf blasters. It's useful to be able to see a bit straighter. I was finding myself aiming this blaster a little bit higher up than I needed to, um, possibly because of all the extra stuff on the top of it unless I was using the sights and before I got used to how to fire it. Or maybe I'm just rubbish. I like the styling of the blaster. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. Maybe they're trying to say it's like a stun gun as opposed to actually killing the poor baby dinosaurs or something. I've killed six baby dinosaurs since the start of this video. In terms of a nerf warring blaster, obviously it's not as high capacity as this guy, which you can just kind of load up and go with. It's also bigger, which means tough to holster. But it looks cool. And the thing is with nerfing, if it makes you smile, use it. That's what this is all about. And performance is still above Hasbro Nerf Elite branded stuff anyway. So yeah, why not as a Nerf Warring Blaster? Go for it. As a little side note, I've just had a thought. I think the reason they might have this big gap here is to make it compatible with Nerf branded darts. Next shot darts are a fair bit shorter than Nerf branded darts. And in the past, there have been X-Shot Blasters which have been able to fire Nerf branded darts for that reason. That is not a problem here. And again, with Nerf branded darts, we're still getting those kind of 50-ish feet ranges. I've got to say, I don't think performance is as good as with X-Shot darts. This is still a darn good Nerf warring blaster. If you want to buy a dart firing blaster, you might as well get something that fires better than other brands out there. I don't know what Adventure Force are doing at the moment, but we don't have many Adventure Force blasters in the UK. So Blaster Hub's dart range test winner, I can believe it. Absolutely. I don't know what year that's from. They had those on their boxes for quite a while now, but anyway. I now feel ready to deal with your uncle, Mr. T-Rex. Try this. Yes, yeah, nice that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sorry for the whole hunting yet thing earlier. Did you take the eggs, by the way? Yes, and I extracted their DNA and blended it with that of frogs to make clones, which I've now hidden in boxes of retailable merchandise. It's quite impressive, actually. Okay. <laughs>